Jesse Waters, uh, Fox News understudy to Tucker Carlson, who got demoted when Tucker Carlson uh, got fired. Uh, he is now the uh, sort of main primetime uh, anchor, if you will, uh, on Fox News. Uh, he got invited to the Patrick Bet David podcast over on Valuetainment to hawk his book uh, and talk a little bit about these minimum wage increases in California. Now, we did a segment on Patrick Beth David way back about the UPS workers, where yeah, he was like, right. can you believe that the UPS workers, yeah. they get a $45 an hour? <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, of course, was not the starting wage. But anyway, right. uh, yes. here is yes. Jesse Waters talking about how crazy it is, crazy it is that two people in a household, if they each work fast food, might get to live a somewhat comfortable life. Making twenty dollars an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, right? Is that is that six figures? Are you making no, you're no, making no, 40, 40, grand, 50, forty grand? Fifty is just two exit <laughs> to and out a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so forty k a year, okay, full time, forty k a year. Yeah. So and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making a hundred thousand dollars as a family. Sure, but no, no, that's that's not right. Twenty dollars an hour. This this idiot, <laughs> this idiot doesn't even know the $20 an hour is not a six figure salary. Why are you talking about this? Yeah. You don't even know the the first thing about the subject. Well, he got it wrong too and he said, "Well, if if both husband and wife work McDonald's for $20 an hour, that's six figures." No, that's still only 80 grand. $20 an hour is 40 grand a year. That's how that works out. I know because I used to work for $20 an hour. That's $40,000 a year. After taxes, that's about $34,000 a year. So a husband and wife working at now minimum wage fast food over on the west coast there good old california sixty eight thousand dollars a year after tax income now that is nowhere near a comfortable middle class life in fucking california no. where no. gas is Here? over five dollars a gallon yeah. and housing and you can't is get unbelievable. anywhere without driving you have to drive gas is through the roof housing is unbelievably expensive out there I know because we were actually considering briefly to maybe move out there because my wife could, you know, her, her certification is uh, worldwide, so we could live anywhere. And we have a lot of family out there who we like a lot. So we're looking at housing. We're like, I guess we can't do it out there, you know, not on $30 an hour. So you're telling me right, they're going to live right. high on the hog at $20 an hour, 68 grand a year for a household income in California. He thinks that's crazy. Watch this. That's crazy. If your husband or wife is also there, you're making a hundred thousand dollars as a family. Sure. Both working at McDonald's. Eighty yes. grand. Uh, 80 th grand. That is okay. That's yeah, eighty grand. See, somebody could do math there. Eighty grand. Yes. That's pre-tax. Post-tax, right. it's about sixty-eight grand, as I said. Crazy. Right. right. That's that crazy. is crazy. Crazy. Because that job really doesn't require much. So it's inflating the entire. Uh -huh. Let um, me see. You know, uh, Let me see Jesse Waters do that fucking job for two days. Yeah. For two days. It doesn't require much. He's never had a job like that. He doesn't know what that's about. If you talk to anyone who's worked fast food, that is actually a pretty grueling job. Keaton, you worked fast food, didn't you? I worked Pizza Hut, not fast food, but same type of thing. Yeah. No, you're on your feet all day, hot kitchen all day, always something to do. If you're not cooking, you're sweeping the floor. If you're not sweeping right. the floor, you're checking out a customer, right? If you're you know, getting the dishes and the pans washed and shit like that. No. It's fast paced. It's a lot harder than what he does. Absolutely well, harder. Well, than of what course he does. it is. And here's where you see your class bias again, because relative to sitting on your ass in an office, it's actually a very hard job. And Waters would probably not come on and complain about office workers getting forty thousand a year. It, no. This, this this is a hatred of workers, and you can expect it from a millionaire talk show host like Jesse Waters. What hurts me is working people who have been taught to hate themselves and to hate their class so much that they would take what a fucking piece of shit like this has to say about wages seriously. And as we have discovered, there are a lot of people like that in the audience of alternative media. That is crazy. Because that job really doesn't require much. So it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, labor sector. And, and the Happy Meal. And the Happy Meal. Unhappy, which, very which, unhappy. Which meal. I'm very unhappy about. But it's inflating the Happy Meal by a quarter, if anything. It's not infl it's inflating well, well, not the labor sector. Well, not only that, it doesn't, it doesn't have to. McDonald's made $105 fucking billion dollars last year. 
It does not need to. They put half that money into stock buybacks. The money is there. The money is there. They just don't want to give it to workers. And I've seen comments, well, but the Democrats caused inflation. No, they did not. No, they did not. They want to convince you that give, put, making things a little better for working people with some of the uh, some of the programs during COVID caused this inflation. But if you look at the companies, they're making record profits. They're making record profits. They didn't increase the prices because of money that flowed into the economy. They raised the prices because they used the crisis as a cover to do what they wanted. And, oh, well, supply chain. Oh, yeah, you know, it's COVID. We have to raise the prices. Okay, so no supply chain problem now. Did they bring them back down? No. They are trying to extract wealth from you. That's it. It's not that the money's not there. It's that it has all been sucked up to the upper 10% and specifically the upper 1%. It is a, Warren Buffett said it himself, Sure, there's a class war, and my side is winning it. Well, the only reason you would think it's crazy for someone to be able to live on a fast food salary is because you have been conditioned, not just by the media, but by the society writ large, that people who work fast food are either 14-year-olds working their first job, which is not true. In fact, two-thirds of minimum wage workers are fully grown women. So you want to empower women? 26-year-old women are the minimum average wage. fast food worker. Exactly. And um, that they should get to live a decent life. And again, in California, I don't even know how you live a decent life. Maybe you live a dignified life for 68 grand. Even that's hard. Housing is unbelievable out there. Gas is unbelievable out there. So you are, you are far from comfortable at 68 grand a year for a two-person household out there. But the idea that you are not sweating bullets over every single rent check you write or every every single gas bill you have right, to pay, right. the fact that you can do that on one salary is alien to us because we have been conditioned to assume that if you work fast food, you don't just work one job. You work at least one and a half, if not two full-time right, jobs. Right. Jose's mom, he said in the in the film that we made about him, when he was growing up, he never saw her. She worked Dunkin' Donuts and she worked Marshalls, two full-time jobs. She was never around. That we have been conditioned, and Jose is not a child, but and you know, he couldn't even get younger. us a deal on the he's Dunkin' the, Donuts for the shoot. Yeah, we couldn't even get a box of Joe and a, a dozen donuts for less than forty-two dollars, even though his mom had the hookup way back when. But this has been, you know, that was about twenty years ago, right? Or no, maybe not then. Maybe about twelve years ago. I'm giving Jose. I'm thinking Jose's mid thirties. He's mid twenties, young, fiery kid. Yeah, he's twenty-five. Um, yeah, but point is, like, we just assume that no one who works those jobs is worthy of a decent life because exactly. that has just been the norm. Exactly. That is just right. the norm. And right. the reason Jesse Waters thinks it's crazy is partly because he gets paid to parrot that kind of bullshit on Fox That's News. That's it. But also because he is as brainwashed as most people are, really. I mean, Jesse Waters is not a deep thinker, right? Uh, and so he probably buys into it as much as he sells it. Yeah, it, 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 it just reminds me watching. We were talking about this uh, offline. Yeah, Jesse Waters is like a pure distilled version of the whole Fox News brand. Just smarmy contempt for just just nonsense. I, I, I remember, look, we're not Obama fans here. But when you would watch Fox News when Obama was president, it was just absurd. Yeah, so Barack Obama today ate a sandwich. Oh, did he? Did he have mayonnaise on it? Oh, he did. He did. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Well, they called Obama <laughs> a socialist. I mean, that just shows you how how indoctrinated people have become in this country, that Barack Obama, a self-described Rockefeller Republican, he referred to himself as basically that, um, could be that, that he was basically a as, Reaganite. Yeah, he was painted as a revolutionary socialist by by Fox News. Please clap. <laughs>